Over the course of this NFL season, the Buffalo Bills haven't always looked like the Super Bowl favorite they were pronounced to be back in the summer. A season unlike any other followed, but the end came abruptly Sunday, as the Cincinnati Bengals came out in their divisional round meeting looking more prepared and quickly dictated the pace in a game in which the Bills never found their footing, the disappointment and frustration for the Bills lingered in different ways after the 27-10 loss, the first home playoff loss under coach Sean McDermott. Quarterback Josh Allen sat at the back of his locker stall, in full uniform, talking to backup quarterbacks Case Keenum and Matt Barkley and spending time on his phone before eventually moving to shower. Several players chose to exit the locker room quickly after the game, but most notable was wide receiver Stefan Diggs, who first tried to leave with his things before some coaches had come up the tunnel from the field. He was brought back to the locker room by practice squad running back Duke Johnson. Then quickly left soon after, per multiple reporters present, McDermott said Diggs, one of nine team captains for a second year in a row, was in the locker room when he addressed the team and that's what matters most. He's a competitive guy. That's what makes him good is what you saw, McDermott said. He's very competitive, like we all are. We work extremely hard at these jobs to be the best we can possibly be, and it hurts. I wouldn't want a guy that doesn't hurt, right? So, when you put it all on the line out there, we put it all on the line, and tonight it wasn't good enough. That's the part that stings. Diggs also showed his frustration on the sideline halfway through the fourth quarter after a Bills drive ended on downs. Standing in front of Allen, who was sitting on the bench, he was seemingly yelling in his quarterback's direction, his arms outstretched, he should be frustrated, we're all frustrated, wide receiver Cole Beasley said. He's a fiery guy, competitor, but that's what you love about him. So, if he was happy about the situation, you wouldn't want the guy on the team. So. He's right in the way that he reacted, but right now it's hard to get past the outcome of this season being anything but a disappointment.